Things. Now, according to the district, the Okemos High School varsity football team will not be playing the rest of the season, saying it is the safest and best option to build a strong varsity program for next year. School and athletic officials inform players and their parents tonight at the high school. Six News reporter McCoy Scribner was there. And McCoy, how are they responding to this tonight? Sherry, according to officials, the team sustained many injuries, and the majority of the roster remains juniors and sophomores with different levels of experience. Parents tonight tell me while they were hesitant going into the meeting, they left tonight in high spirits. Ricarla Carter is a parent of a sophomore football player at Okemos, and prior to tonight's meeting, she was feeling pretty nervous. Um, I don't really know what to expect. I'm hoping for the best. The best, as in continuing this season. Best parents, we wanted our kids to be able to finish out the varsity year, and I'm hoping that that is what they're going to be telling us today, but right now I'm just nervous about everything. But after the meeting, she says that nervousness turned into optimism. Um, I mean, there is some sadness because, no, they can't continue on as varsity team, but mostly just excitement that even though that's not going to happen right now, in the next two years we're looking for our team to just do a whole lot better. Another parent says she's happy the district is focusing on the health of the students and turning their efforts to the JV team. I got support from the athletic department. I got reassurance from the um, football coach that the season will continue. And due to safety and numbers, uh, this is the best thing for us to continue to move forward for football. And the players seem to be on board too. I think we're just going to keep pushing through as a team and stick together. I think that's the goal. You know, the coaches have a good game plan for us and they, ha they know what's best for us and we're just going to follow the lead. Again, officials say a lot of injuries were sustained within their five-game season, but the staff is looking forward to what's to come at the JV level and varsity for next year. Back to you. Thank you, McCoy. Well, our sports director, Audrey Doggin, was also there tonight. She joins us now. Audrey, I know you had the opportunity to speak with first-year coach F.A. Scott Amokafor. Well, how is he feeling about this decision? Yeah, well, the one thing that you need to know about F.A. Sherry is that he's always very even-keeled, and a mm -hmm. major reason why the parents and players walked out of the meeting at the high school tonight feeling pretty good about this decision is because of him and his mm -hmm. whole outlook on the situation. As McCoy pointed out earlier, Okemos is still going to be playing football this year, just not at the varsity level. So all of the juniors and sophomores who were on varsity still have four games to play, and they'll do so on Thursday night. So that's when all JV teams across the state play. As for the seniors, Okemos only had one left on the varsity team out of seven who had consistently played the sport throughout his high school career. And while it was tough for the few seniors left on the squad to take in, F.A. made sure to let them know how much he appreciates them, and he wants everyone to focus on this. I think that the fact that we're still playing is important. Um, you know, people from the outside might say, uh, you know, you're killing football. We're not by any means. Uh, this is an investment in the program, um, you know, to build it back up. And here's the other thing, too. It's mm -hmm. not like the players weren't listening to him or the no. other coaches on the coaching right. staff. They just are inexperienced when it comes to certain things about the sport, fundamentals and techniques of the game, like blocking, tackling, mm -hmm. and a sport like football. It's really not safe to be playing no. unless you know what you're doing. So that's crucial to success, and we're going to have much more about that in sports coming up later. All right, the safest and smartest decision yeah. for now. All yeah. right, thank you, Audrey. Talk to you then.